So now that we've explored how to remove backgrounds in the previous video, now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to do a transparent background. So what I'm going to do in this one is I brought in that same sunflower. The link is in the description. Uh, I'm going to right click on my layer toolbar here. And what I want to do is I want to add an alpha channel. And what you're going to see is that alpha channel is, you can see it up here, is a gray and light gray checkered board. And what that means is transparency. And what a transparency is, you can see through it. Uh, if you can think of the days of the old overhead projectors, you'd have those clear sheets of paper that you would write on. That transparency is that clear sheet of paper that we put behind this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my fuzzy select tool. I'm going to select just like we learned in the last one uh, and remove it. Now, instead of having that white background that we saw in the previous one, now what I have is I have that checkered background. And what that checkered background is, uh, it's trans showing me that I have that clear sheet of paper uh, for that transparency. So. Again, you'd spend a lot more time cleaning up this photo. I'm just doing a quick job for this video. Now, what I have is I want to come up here, and I don't want to save this again because it's a project file. I could save it if I want to continue working on it. But what I want to choose is I want to choose Exporting As. So when I export this, I want to change the file extension to a PNG file because a PNG file is a lossless file. So I'm going to keep that transparency. If I was to export this as a JPEG, uh, what would happen is it would give me a white background just like we created on the last one. So by exporting as a PNG, we're not losing anything in that transparency uh, background is allowed to still be there. So I'm going to export this. And again, we're going to click export it. So now when I go file and I want to open and I can find that same file, we can see that PNG file. We can see the background here is that checkered background, which shows me that we have our uh, transparent background. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to layer JPEGs with PNGs with transparent backgrounds to create our own scenes.